It's the view that nourishes you? The bees. The ignorance, I mean. I find it cautionary, in a bracing way. Yeah, they go about their business so assiduously without any awareness of how vulnerable they are. All the things that killed them off in the first place, they're still out there. We do our best to keep them at bay, of course. But one momentary lapse in vigilance and a whole cascade of crisis descends. Hey, they've had two extinction events just in the past five years. And then, well, you know, that long climb back out from nothingness. Oh, they're lucky they have you. We're no different, really, people. We look out and all this and we imagine that the jackpot, with all its horrors, is safely buried in the past. But the labour involved to keep it so, the care. You'd be the first to understand, though, wouldn't you? And that's the whole point of the work you're doing. The data you're bringing back from the stub may save us all one day from ourselves. I'm honoured to be in a position to help, Doctor. Do you have many friends, Grace? Some. Elita West, does she count as one? I suppose we boarded together in school. Then you're aware she was employed in our biodiversity department. Was. How do you suppose someone in grains and lagoons might become aware of our stub research division? She was curious, so I have. It's not as if I shared anything of substance, Doctor. I, I, I would never... There was a country called Paraguay once before the jackpot. Do you know it? People there had a saying. If you feel compelled to share a secret, I mean, a really important secret, an existentially important one, then you should dig a grave first. For who? For whom, dear? Either for the person you're telling, or for yourself. I'm so sorry, Doctor. I've let you down. I can see that. There's a chemical in the tea. As your body processes it, your sweat begins to mimic a pheromone hornet's release. It's gotten our little friends a tad agitated, I'm afraid. You understand, don't you? How you've left me no choice. I have two small children. That's it. Exactly. Think of them. Think of the lengths you'd go to to protect them. Dr. Newland, please. Please, please don't. I beg you, please, please don't.